morning everybody and welcome to so this in the morning back we're back 15 minutes to change our lives amidst hashem learning the annual deity of the rabbi one of the many but one of the famous ones of 1966 this year is sponsored by Anonymous, in honor of the birthdays of Devar Bas Rachel, Chaim Gutman Ben Rachel, Pinchas Ben Veli, Meir Shlomo Ben Veli, Shas Atzlacha for all the brachas and to each of them. And also by Chana Simcha in honor of the ninth yardside of her grandmother, the third of Elul. Chaya Victoria Bas, Meir Hakoyin, and Miriam. Alva Shalom, may her marriage protect the family and all of Am Yisrael. Please be missed in honor of her. Loving memory. The kids run a shaykh and offer them. now. And yeah. Okay. So it's been a long time since we have learned this mimer actually. In our old apartment, we actually did it, but in this apartment, we haven't. This version of the book haven't. We've done in the last few years the Ultra Rebbe's mimer. So if you haven't haven't seen that, you should go watch that. that will make a very big difference into your understanding of this maimer. This maimer, Tashin Chavav, is a beautiful maimer. Basically, there's a few styles of the Rebbe's Chassidus. And one of the, one of the styles, you find this in Basilagani a little bit, or a lot in Basilagani, but in a very different style, that the Rebbe will come and he'll take a maimer of, the, of, the, of any Rebbe, an altar Rebbe in this case, and he'll analyze the maimer. And he'll bring out points and he'll, he'll like, you know, take a picture and just like make it look stunning. And this is what we're going to do here. We're going to take the Alter Rebbe's Maimer and he's Marshal of the Malch Basar, the king in the field, as we're preparing for Rosh Hashanah and this whole time period of El. And he's going to analyze the Maimer and bring up points and, and show the depth of the Marshal. Yeah, it's, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful journey that I'm excited for everyone to join us go along with. I guess we'll jump straight into it and we'll explain the marshal again, make sure everyone ha has that understood and then we'll go into the maimer. And again, if, if you, if you want to refresh yourself, we have, you can look in on, you know, different platforms that we have of the maimer from the altar. So basically the maimer, the alt said the altar brings the, 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 the backstory for the marshal of the king in the field that Alter explains this part like this: that you have Elul is a revelation of certain attributes of mercy, it's a very high level of godliness. It's a level that can atone for our sins. Elul is a time of Hashem's abundant kindness and compassion, and He wants to help us, tshuva, and connect to Him. The Alter says, so if that's the case, that's what's going on in Elul. This is the level, like it says in the Maimon, that that's the same level that's brought down on, Rish, on Yom Kippur. So why is an Elul Yom Tov? So in order to understand why the El is not a Yom Tov, the brings, he goes, I'll give you a Lamashal, a Marshal to understand this. This is like a Marshal king in the field. On the king, on the way back to the palace, he's in the field. And in the field, he, he, he makes himself available. He doesn't look his grandeur. And he says, call me Shereitza. Whoever wants can come and greet him. And he receives them all, but save upon him, Yafais, with a nice countenance, with he shows them a, a smiling, happy face. And that's what he's saying, that essentially Elul, even though there's this great revelation of godliness that helps us out so much, but that's, an, so that's like the king in the field. When the king is there. We have this ability to tap into the, to the king and reach the king, unlike when he's in the palace. And when he's in the palace, you have to only the school, only specific people, you have to get special permission. Can't just go to the palace and walk in and talk to the king anytime you want. But the king is not in his grandeur. So on one hand, the king is there, he's available in Elul. On the other hand, it's not with all the grandeur pumps. Whereas when he's in the king, when he's in the palace, there's the king in all his glory. But you can't necessarily go there. And that's what he's saying that Elul does have this revelation of godliness, this rachamim, this compassion of Hashem that he's so available. But the availability. Is is not this not in the same style as it is on when he's in the palace on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur. 
And in simple, in simple terms, he's saying that, and, and we see it clearly that emotion, you can become to shul and you get all excited. You feel everything. You feel, oh, you go, no, yeah, I want to connect. I want to daven. I want to, Lord, I want to, whatever Hashem wants, I want to do. I want to have a good gym. But Elul, that, the day of Elul, the days of Elul doesn't inspire that, doesn't, doesn't necessarily bring that out in a, in a revealed way. That's because the king is there, but he's in the field. And when he's in the field, it's not, so, you know, I'll go, I won't go. You know, I live my life. And, and will I connect? Not connect. It's, it's, it's up to me. But it's a, and that's why it's Ayla Dedi Videdi Li. And this is one of the things we're going to discuss because, the, you know, we're basing this, this mime of Ayla Dedi Videdi Li. I'm my beloved and beloved is to me. That there's, that we have to, is, is it us coming close to Hashem or Hashem coming close to us and, and, and inspiring us? So El is about us inspiring ourselves to come close to Hashem. And that's what's happening. And that's why even though there's a great revelation of godliness, you'd give us a but we don't feel it's in a revealed way like it is in Rosh Hashanah Kippur. And therefore, we have to come out to the field to get the king. But the king is in the field. That's where we live. And that's essentially, in short, the point Alter was bringing with the marshal of the king in the field. So now we, the Rebbe is going to explain and, and analyze this and ask a few questions. Because essentially, and this sort of the whole mind is going to go on with the back and forth. Because we're saying, it's very interesting, we say, Anila Dedi Vededi Li. I'm to my beloved, and my beloved is to me, which is the Rasha Tavis. It has Ani Vedadi, Aleph, Lamud, Vav, Lamud, which is the, the head letters of each of that word, spells out the word El. And we say, I'm not to my beloved, which is us trying to come close to Hashem. This is called, in, like we say in, in the language of Siddhas, uh, it's just the Lasata, the arousal from below, that our initiative to get close to Hashem. Vedadi Li, and then I'll which is the revelation from God to us, which is God arousing us, coming close, bring, coming down to us, that's giving us inspiration. That's a mission in Kippur. We're saying, this is the Rosh Hashanah of Elul. So it must be that in Elul, we also have this this, this type of this, um, revelation from above, arousal, inspiration that God is giving us. So what's going on over here? Is Elul the inspiration coming from ourselves? Like we said, the king's in the field meaning we have to go out and greet him, or is it coming from above? Now, ultimately, it's, it's a mixture of both. It is and it isn't. And this is, how, this is what we're going to discuss. Is it, and this is what we're going to see in the moment. And we're going to bring it, and we're going to discuss it many times, but each time we're, we're bringing out a different, a, a deeper level of connection, deeper level of understanding, and a deeper level of, of who we are and, and that relationship we have with Hashem and what is it all about. And, and amidst Hashem, with all this, will have us, give us the ability to really push ourselves and connect as much as possible to Hashem. Let's begin. So you can find this in, in many places. I'll actually post it up. I'll tell you how to post it up after you online the PDF. If you don't have it, there's in this, I'm, I'm using this format, this say from page 331, and there's plenty of places you can find it. And yeah, Mr. I'll post it up, the PDF, and you can follow along. We're not going to go too far today, and then tomorrow we'll we'll get into it. Okay. So Ani Vidodi Li says in the Pasuk in Shir Hashirim, I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. So I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. So we see it's two people and one connecting to one and then one connecting back to the other. So this is the Rashi Tevas of El. This is the acronym for El. Mavad look at the Torah, and the altar explains in his Maim look at the Torah. That the connection with Elul is that this whole mime of the altar, but with Anil of Daily and Elul. Over Rosh Hashanah, we make Kippurim. He am Shach mil Ma'il Mat. Rosh Hashanah, we make Kippur. Elul is Anil of Daily Li. It's and and more specifically, if Elul who is the rest of the Satan, Elul is the is the arousal, the inspiration that coming from ourselves, which is Anil of Daily. Which represents those first two two words or two letters of Elul. I am to my beloved, meaning we're going out to greet the king in the field. We're going out to put an inspiration. We're not ha- we don't have that inspiration in a revealed way like it is Rishon Yom Kippur. Ben Rishon Yom Kippur, Yom Kippurim he ham shacha milamay lamata esrus the leila v'dedi li. Whereas Rishon Yom Kippur is that v'dedi li that Hashem's inspiration. My beloved is to me that Hashem is inspiring us. Like we feel 
like we see in the time period of Hashem and Kippur, how the inspiration is there and how we're a lot more connected and a lot more, you know, just being around in shul and then and, and hearing the shefa and, and the singing and all these things inspire us. That's, so in Elul is Ani Ladeidi and Hashem and Kippur and the Sesame Tshuva is Vadeidi Li. That's those two levels. And, and those two together make the Rosh Tevis of Elul. But all that inspiration that we get on Tishrei and Rosh Hashanah Kippur is dependent on our Elul. It's through the Isirus of the through the Rals from below, through the efforts that we put in to connect to Hashem and to connect the Nefesh Lakis and to walk on ourselves and to do tshuva, that will have the long-lasting effect on the inspiration and, and will tap into, will be able to tap into the inspiration of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. But the Rosh Hashanah of Elul is Anil Dodi V'doidi Li. We're saying V'doidi Li is Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. We're saying, but the, the Rosh Hashanah of Elul, not the Rosh Hashanah of Elul being Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, the Rosh Hashanah of Elul is V'doidi, is Anil Dodi and V'doidi Li and inspiration from above. Meaning, and he says in the bracket, means shegam v'dedi li, nichla v'shedev is elul, also the v'dedi li, also God's inspiration, God's arousal from above, God inspiring us is also in the Rosh of elul. Ki, so how is that, how is, how does that work? Ki ha'yisarus, the l'sata shib elul, because the arousal, inspiration of elul. The ani l'dedi that we put in, that we cause, that we make it ourselves, he gam ha'kdama v'laham shach v'dedi li, is also the, the preface to the drawing down of godliness and that inspiration that God brings in the dirty Li, which is Rishon and Kippur. So the Rebbe is saying like this, in a simple, in a simple sense, the Alter Rebbe is saying that what's the Vedadi Li? What's this, uh, uh, that all the inspiration that we get in Rishon and Kippur is dependent on Ani Vedadi, dependent on our efforts in Elul. And that's why it's put together. Because what's going on in Rishon and Kippur is based off our Elul. Meaning you can't show up on, on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur and expect to have a life-changing experience. Now, you might, you know, you might get lucky, but in general, you're not. You have to prepare. Like anything, you go, you go, you know, you go to run a marathon, you can't just come on the day and say, I'm ready to run. You have to do all the preparation. And this is what Elul is. And, and Elul helps us prepare for Rosh Hashanah and Kippur. And the more we prepare, the more effort that we put in, and, and as we go through the man, we're going to discuss this, and the more we, we put our effort in, and, you know, and as we have the Lubuk Siddhas, of the Semitic Vote Initiative, and the more the things we, we prepare ourselves for, we're going to be ready for. And so they're saying, this is sort of the simple sense, the answer, why we have a Vodedi Li, why the inspiration from above, which is really Rosh Hashanah Kippur, is in the Rosh Hashanah of Elul. Because we're saying it's dependent on Elul. And that's what we're saying. But we need to understand this. Because ultimately, it's part of the words of Elul. It's, it's a nice part that we're saying that, that the Vedadi Li said in Elul, even though it's talking about Tishrei, but we're saying it because the Tishrei depends on Elul. So it can sort of fit into Elul, but they're ever saying we're trying to fit in a, you know, a triangle into a square. It, it's, not, it's not really, it doesn't fit perfectly. So, Mashma, so therefore, it must be that El is not just the preface to the inspiration that God gives in Kippur, but in the month of El itself, El itself has this concept of Vedadi Li. So, what we're saying is, it's not that Vedadi Li, the inspiration from above that God is giving, is just a Mishnah and Kippur, but it has to also be in Elul. Because the Rosh Tevis, the, 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 yeah, the Rosh Tevis of Anu Vedadi Li is Elul, which means also the Vedadi Li is in Elul. So this is what we need to understand. Just to, to summarize the question, to finish off the first ice, questions like this. In, in the Rosh Tevis of Elul, in the past, like Ani Ladeidi Vedadi Li implies two, two, two things. One is that the inspiration from above, from below, which is our efforts, the Israel Lasata, the arousal from below, meaning us putting the effort to connect to Hashem. And on Rosh Hashanah Kippur, is Hashem connecting, revealing Himself to us. 
and that's these two these two bridges. In order in order to have that inspiration of Tishrei, we have to have an El first. That we're going to put in the effort. We're going to going to inspire ourselves, and 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 can and push ourselves to connect, and then we will receive all that there is to receive on Rishon Kippur. And that's what we're saying. But the question is, the Rosh Tevis of Elul is Ani Vudedi and also Vudedi Lim, which means Elul is meant to have this aspect. So they're just saying, so really, you could sort of say it's because that Tishrei inspiration is based upon Elul efforts. But we're saying, but, it's, but it doesn't, doesn't really fit because it's, it's not the Rosh Tevis of Elul and Tishrei, it's Rosh Tevis of Elul. So therefore, we have to say that even in Elul, you have this, this inspiration from above. And that's what we're going to understand, because if we say this wish from above, and that goes against the whole point that we're saying in Elul, that Elul is all about the, the, the inspiration that we come from ourselves, from below, this Rosh Hashanah Lasat. So how can Elul have also this Rosh Hashanah and this Rosh Hashanah Lasat? It's, it's either one or the other, they contradict each other. So uh, as we go along, we'll, we'll see what that means. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining, and everyone should have an amazing an amazing